In the following video, we're going to talk about the Canvas Control for Silverlight in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. The Canvas Control provides the most flexibility and the greatest control when designing. The Canvas provides two things that are not attainable by any other method. The first is absolute positioning, which allows the ability to place objects exactly where you want. The second is the ability to stack objects on top of each other. When I created this project, the design was imported from Illustrator. But after playing around with Blend for the past week, I'm going to try another approach. Let's go through the process of building this main control in Blend. The first thing I did was to create a user control named Main Control Canvas. The second thing I did was to add the image of the main control and place the layer in a locked state. What we are going to do is use this image as a guide and draw on top of it. The first thing we'll want to do is select the rectangle tool, draw right on top of our image, select it, change the fill. To a black color. And we'll change the alpha to 40%. Make it 30. Okay. The next thing we want to do is select a stroke. And pick a light gray color. Also want to change the stroke thickness to two. We want to select the zoom tool, zoom into one of the corners. And one of the cool features with drawing with the rectangles that we could select one of these handles and modify the edges. Very, very powerful. So let's zoom out. Let's hide our image guide, and so far, so good. So now we'll want to bring in our icons. Looks like we need to scale these down. Okay. The first feature of the canvas was absolute positioning. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I'm going to select the mute icon, place it exactly where we want it. Select the keypad. And just like any other editing tool, we could use the arrow keys to get it exactly where we want. Next, we'll zoom in to get the text just right. So now that we've shown the absolute position capabilities within Blend, the next feature to go over would be the ability to stack objects on top of each other. So we'll select the rectangle tool, we'll go over the tile brush, and we'll select the image source, we'll set the image source to image 2.
And so here we have a canvas control, which has a rectangle tool, which has its rounded edges, which has the six icons, and they're all stacked on top of each other. They're positioned absolutely. This is a very powerful feature. I use it for about 80% of my designs within Blend. In many respects, there's no need to design outside of Blend. Um, totally recommend a Canvas Control. And this concludes this video in working with the Canvas Control for Silverlight in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.